guys and welcome back to another one today 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 you guys have been requesting that i get back out to dustin's huge pigeon barn loft that's what we're doing today boys and we have good reason to do so the last pigeon we trapped was a blue check squeaker that guy right there yep that one in the middle we're trading him off as well as well as not only one but two all whites both of our all whites we are trading in today, and uh, there's good reason why. They're both females. That's why they don't want to breed. Yeah, so we're gonna trade them in. Dustin has done us a huge favor, and what he's already done is found a, a pair, a mating pair. They've already made it up. They are paired up. He has put them away for us so we can come and trade these three for those two mated pair. I was like, hey man, I'll give you three birds back for just the mated pair because that's an awesome deal him doing that for me. Like Bob, here's a mated pair, just have them. Because Dustin, as a lot of you guys know that we're here on the last big barn pigeon loft video, Dustin breeds them and sells them two to three times a year. So he's constantly breeding these things. So big shout out to Dustin for hooking me up with one of his all white purebred mated pairs. I appreciate it so much. But real quick, I gotta give a huge shout out to duckswaterfowl.com for sponsoring this here video. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to do YouTube full time. And if it wasn't for you guys picking up something at duckswaterfowl.com and supporting me, helping me bring you guys more videos, big shout out. If you guys wanna grab anything from duckswaterfowl.com, I will link my hat and the shirt down in the description below. Go check everything out on the site. You'll like something. Hi, Frederick. Look how good of a boy you is. He's getting some official training. We haven't came out with a video yet, but old Frederick is getting some official training. Oh, God, oh, oh. Okay, we're in here. We're yep. Hold that door closed for a minute. Alrighty. Oh, let me uh, let me catch them and we'll throw them in the bucket. All right. There's one of our white girls there. I should have closed those before I did something dumb. Oh. There we go. There's two. Okay, there we go. Woo! All right, I got them all. I got all of my babies. <laughs> Here you go. There we go. You see them, Bubba? Yeah. Boat is going, what are you doing with my pigeons? These are now his pigeons, y'all. All right, we're good. That's all. Got them. <laughs> Boat is like, where are you taking my birds, sir? What are you doing with my birds? You love, you love them pigeons, don't you, Bubba? Those honestly have became Bodie's pigeons. I'm serious. Well, you ready to get them out there, sir? Why not? What are you repping on your hat there? You got the old GoPro on? You making a video right now, son? Not right now. I'm not filming right now, but I will here shortly. Yep. Well, we got the birds in the old dog kennel yet again. We're just going to trap them by hand and carry them in by hand. No bucket needed, pretty much. Here, I'll hold him. I got a pocket pigeon. You got, oh, you got a pocket pigeon. Okay. But we are here back at Dustin's. How you doing, sir? Pretty good. How are you? Oh, good, dude. Like I said before, you guys love the last big barn pigeon loft of Dustin's here. It's amazing. So we're not only going to go and get our, uh, our paired up full whites that Dustin stored away for us. Thank you, Dustin. Yep. But we're going to go in for the feeding time of the big barn. He hasn't fed them. They probably should have been fed probably an hour and a half ago, shouldn't they? <laughs> he was like, but Bobby's coming. We're just going to wait. I appreciate it again. Yep. But we're going to go in there, we're going to fill, film him throwing out the feed, and we're just going to watch all these pigeons rush rush to the ground. It's going to be awesome. So a lot of the viewers said that they think that they are both girls, not male. I think you're right. You think they're right? I think they're, I think they're right. For yeah. Sure. They, I, all I know is they did not like each other. I mean, I tried to pair them a bunch. They did not like each other. I've seen a meme. Now, kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at all them baby kitties. They're still here. Oh, here we are. We're down in the bottom of the big loft up top. So you got rid of a bunch of birds. How many did you get rid of this last uh, go? I s we sold a total of 200 of them. So, wow. But we sold about 145. My buddies had about 55 of them. So. Oh, nice, nice. Yep. So you guys are going to notice there's not going to be near as many here. He got rid of a bunch. But man, I'll tell you what. This is a beautiful loft system they got going on. Awesome. 
But while we're in here, we gotta film some of Dustin's birds. That guy there, that's about as far as I can zoom in. Absolute butte. Looks like the one that got away. Oh yeah, by the way, I didn't tell you, one of them escaped already. Actually escaped the next day. You probably knew that though, because yeah. you watch the videos, don't you? Yep, I watch the videos. <laughs> when I lost him, I'm sure Dustin was like freaking amateur. But like I told you guys, old Jordan, he's putting together his own big old barn pigeon loft, just like Dustin's here. And uh, what Dustin's done here is awesome. Just taking little five gallon buckets and making nesting boxes out of them. Beats a lot of the hard work of oh, yeah. building boxes by wood and stuff. Lots of ideas here. Oh dude, there's Mine's not gonna be near as cool as his, but I'm gonna work on it. I've been remodeling the loft. I got rid of all the birds and stuff and just trying to start over. Right. And I'm excited. Yep, I'm sealing it up and getting ready to go. But check out all the different little nesting boxes he's built here. Awesome, got them everywhere. Check out these little guys, got some brand new babies here. Just some squeakers. Haven't even left the box yet. Little bitty babies. Old Jordan, he's like, well you wanna see him? I'll just grab him. Let's check out this little guy. How old do you think they are, Dustin? Uh, I don't know, probably two to three weeks. Two to three weeks, wow. He's gonna be a little white tip action, isn't he? <laughs> So ugly, he's cute. <laughs> it's true. I do have some nasty, like yellow hair. That's what they start out with. I'm mm. sure we can find a nest here in a little bit that's got some baby babies in it, and they're just covered completely with that yellow stuff. It's weird. That yellow down is just baby pigeons are hideous. <laughs> We're headed up into the big barn loft. Oh, it's so pretty. Just like I remembered her. Oh goodness. We're back. Well, we're standing up on top on the rafters again, getting a good look at the birds. Buttes. There are some buttes in here, let me tell you what, boys. I'm serious, you can just watch these birds kick back in a lawn chair in here. Have you a nice cold one and just watch the birds. Seriously. That one right there. See him right there? He's got a white head on him. It's like an eagle head right there. Good looking dude. He's a blue check with a white head. You see that one right there, Jordan? Oh, yeah. Blue check with a white head. He has got some beautiful birds in here. I mean, every time I come here, dude, I'm just like, oh, I feel like Ace Ventura. Remember that scene? <laughs> I don't know why, but like that solid red one, like the, I, mm, it's so pretty. Oh yeah, I see him. That, he's tiny. That's a slender. That has to be a female. Oh, yeah, I think it's just a baby. Actually, just a baby, it's baby. Be young, young. Yeah, I guess it doesn't have a band on him. Yeah. But I mean, and then next to them, there's a mostly black one, then a black check. There's a mostly white grizz. Yeah. And Mr. Tuxedo over there. Look at this guy here. Uh, what a beaut. I don't know what it is about grizzlies. Pretty cool. Seriously, I could just sit here all day. That's that dude again. That's that white head eagle guy. I want him bad. <laughs> He's got a baby blue band on his leg though. That, that tells us that he is a breeder. That's what Dustin does. He has so many look birds. Yeah, look at him. He's prancing around, isn't he? Hey, see me girl? You see me? I look good. Uh-huh. Hey, baby. But uh, that's how Dustin differs what he wants to get rid of is uh, he knows a lot of his mated pairs and when he, when he encounters a mated pair, he'll throw a band on them and that tells him to keep them birds, don't sell them because they're going to keep reproducing and breeding for him. Dude, it's so, it's so pretty. It's just so pretty. There's something therapeutic about it almost. It is, there's like something therapeutic. Falling. It is, man. I don't know what it is. If you're like a bird guy, a wing shooter, a bird lover, a bird hunter at heart, something about a pigeon. I'm, I'm telling you, there's something about a pigeon. 
that'll just make you go, oh, it's kind of like decoying mallards. That, that back beating of the wing, really back stroking, getting in the decoys. Pigeons are like a summertime mallard, right? I think that's why I like hunting them so much. Oh, Jordan just found something. Check this guy out. He's, he's a future stud muffin there. Yeah, he is. A little squeaker. Yeah. He is. Hey. He's going to be a stud. Yep. Got them white wings. Yeah, he's going to be pretty. I better put... Ow. <laughs> you hit your head. <laughs> Easy I've been killer. Back. Well, well, this one had eggs, but it was two babies. Gotcha. And Dustin always has to check boxes for new nests. He has to baby them. He has to pamper them nests so he can get as many uh, offspring as possible. You know what I mean? Awesome system you got going on. Well, Dustin's over here checking all of his nest boxes, seeing uh, which ones have eggs in them. Two more eggs in that one. He's seeing what has eggs in them and what doesn't. He's already counted 20 nests with eggs in them. One to two eggs in, in each one of them. Uh, you can imagine how, how fast that populates, you know what I mean? But this is the old feed trough he's got going on here and he just changed their water out. Good little system he's got going on here. Let me tell you what. It's a lot of work. A lot of work. You got to maintain everything constantly. Two more eggs. Two more eggs in that one. Yep. Well, new water for the other loft. That's what we're doing here. Getting rid of the old water, putting new down. See, I do the same thing, but at a much smaller size. A twentieth the size. Yeah, literally like a twentieth the size. Do you see this stud muffin? Here? Yeah, dude. He's a like a baby blue bar wing tip, white wing tip with a. Oh, he's crazy. Wow. Yeah. What a little stud muffin he is. He's gonna be a good looking dude. Check it out though, just awesome. This is a small one. We're not even to the full bred white loft yet again, guys. But when we get over the full bred white pen, we're gonna do some more netting. We got that mated pair to catch. Check it out, look at these little babies. They are ugly, aren't they? That's gonna be a red guy there on the right though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, here we are. This is the all white loft, the purebred white loft. Pretty good looking little loft, huh? Yep, here we are. Got chickens going nuts. Roosters going nuts. They're like, what are you doing in here, man? Well, here we are. We're in the all white cage and we're gonna let this one go. This is the one that we've had at home for a while. What did I put on him? I put, what band did I put on him? It was a- uh, Oh, did you take him off? <laughs> you snaking bands already, you see that? We're gonna go ahead and let him go. There he is. Now it is time to catch the pear that Dustin stuck away for us. I'll just stand behind you. Hey, Jordan, you might want to go scare those over. All right. We'll let old Dustin do the net in here. Jordan's going to have to go over on the outside over yonder and scare him back through this little passageway right here. But we're going to watch old Slick Hand McGee Dustin get down with the old net. He knows which ones they are. There's a couple sitting up there. Oh. <laughs> and that one said, I'm out. There's <laughs> one up there in the corner, but they might be over here now. He knows what's, what bands they have on their legs. That's her. There he, oh, oh. Nice, dude. Old Slick Hand Rick, I'm telling you. He's got them sauce. Oh, there it is. Black band. That's what he said. We need to catch the black bands. There's one of them. Dang, yeah, you can tell. Way bigger bird than that immature bird that I had. Mated pairs. Thank you, sir. Yep. Awesome, awesome. So that's one down. We, we have to catch one more. Is that the male? Uh, yeah. Is it? Yeah, he's pretty... Yeah, that, that's the male there. He's a he's a pretty big bird. We still have to catch the female. She must have a black band as well. Which one? She's right here. Oh, she's right here. Oh, yeah. Yep, that one right there. There she is. There she goes. Oh, oh. 
I don't know if that was just awesome or if I'm more happy that I caught on camera because he's so fast. There it is. That's both of them. You can uh, you can tell old Dustin's done this a time or two. We're done. We got her done. That was like two minutes long. Bam, wham, bam. Thank you, man. Is that back up? There we go. There we are. There's our winner, winner chicken dinners. I made it pair. There we go. Now we'll have some all white babies in our little loft, our little backyard loft. So, thank you, sir. Left hand shake. You're the man. Well, check it out. We're back here at the house. We got our mated pair back here. And uh, we need to uh, get them in the loft. It's time. It is time to get them in the loft. Come here, buddy. Oh, God. That ain't good. Get him. Get him. Oh. See that? That's why I don't hold the camera and try to get pigeons in my hand. God, Bob. That all about went to, you know what? But check it out, we got dad here. Dad hasn't been on a video for a while. We need to go do some magnet fishing, don't we? Someday. Yeah, I know, we need to get after it. Dad's been scouting new spots, so be expecting some new magnet fishing videos coming up. But check them out. We got some full oh, adult Bubba, whites. You be careful. Yeah, oh yeah, be careful, dude. Don't let, Jordan's got his legs. But Bubba, he's like, oh, that's my pigeon. I'm gonna hold him. You like him, sis? Jordan will help you hold him. Okay, hold him. I got his legs. You're all right. Oh. <laughs> if you're not used to him, they will freak you out. Here you go. But we're going to throw him in the loft here. Oh, yeah. There you go. I almost lost one already. There we go. There we are. So we have a mating pair of full bread whites in our little loft finally. But honestly, today's video was perfect. Perfect. Big shout out to Dustin yet again. I know I've said it four times for hooking me up with a pair of pigeons. Already breeding. So awesome. Oh, Frederick, he says, Dad, I haven't seen you all day. I miss you. He's such a sweetheart. But guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being interested in my pigeon videos. I'm having a ton of fun with the new pigeon loft. So be expecting a lot of pigeon content to come. We got permission on top of rooftops downtown on Main Street. The videos to come, y'all, you do not want to miss them. So hit that notification button right down there, the one, the little bell, hit it. It'll notify you when I upload because we are daily, y'all. But again, if you haven't subscribed, you need to do so. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up for your boy. Let's get this video over 2,000 likes, please. It's easy. Just hit the little thumbs up. It's fast. It don't take very long. But thank y'all for being here. We will see y'all on the next one. Peace. Cause I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps it real